We are talking about parallel lines cut by transversal, and we want to use the angle relationships in order to solve to, to find uh, missing values. In this case, we're trying to find out what X is. So the first thing we want to go through the steps, and the first part is we want to decide are they parallel. So here we have two arrows on each of these, so we can say that the, these two lines are parallel, yes. Uh, in this case, it doesn't really matter because we're not talking about a relationship between this intersection and this intersection because um, right now we have uh, a straight line or these form a linear pair. So we, they just draw that line right there and those two angles make a linear pair. So I'll write linear pair for the angle relationship. And then next we have to decide what does that relationship mean? And that means that they're equal to 180 degrees. So we can set up the equation and then solve it. And in this case, uh, we'll say 180 degrees is equal to 12x plus 7x minus 10. And then we can use the substitution property of equality uh, because 12x plus 7x is equal to 19x. Those are the same thing. Uh, next, we can add 10 to both sides for the addition property of equality. And then we get 190 is equal to 19x. And then we divide both sides by 19 for the division property of equality. And then we end up with uh, 10 is equal to x. Next we look at problem four. And again, the first part is we want to decide are they parallel? And the answer here is yes, because we have one uh, one arrow here and one arrow here, so these are parallel. Next, we want to decide what the relationship is. And so these are both interior, and they're on the same side of the transversal. So these are going to be consecutive interior. Consecutive interior. And consecutive interior, the two, these two angles here, they're going to add up to 180 degrees. So the last thing, we want to set up the equation and then solve it. So 180 is equal to 5x minus 25 plus 3x plus 9. And what we want to do is, again, we're going to do that substitution property of equality. 5x plus 3x is 8x. And negative 25 plus 9 is negative 16. And that's still equal to 180. Then we add 16 to both sides by the addition property of equality. And we get 196 is equal to 8x and divide by 8 for the division property of equality. And then we get x is equal to 